everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly uh, mid-month September readings for all zodiac signs regarding your love life so this is going to be for Leo Sun Moon and Rising if you're interested in any private consultations look at the description box below you'll be able to contact or find my contact information on there okay so let's get into your reading Leo so let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid month of September spirit. Messages for Leo's for the month of September 2017 regarding their love life. <clears throat> so I'm going to be pulling out cards for you, and I will be pulling out cards for the person that's coming into your life or the person that is currently with you in a relationship. <clears throat> so let's get into it. Okay, so your first card is the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Devil card, the Temperance card. Partners cards is the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Okay, Spirit, give me the central issue. Central issue. Okay. And your central issue is the Page of Pentacles. Okay, your general energy, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so the general energy is at the present time regarding Leos, regarding your love life for the month of September is the Ace of uh, Wands. So, sorry, the Ace of Cups. So there is definitely new beginnings for you guys coming. For some of you guys, you guys have been striving difficulty with money and finances as your first two initial cards are definitely having to do with the core um issue of money so the ace of cups is definitely a representation of new beginnings but not only new beginnings new offers coming your way even offers that you're not expecting at the present or in the current position okay these are the general energy surrounding you and that which you may not see coming to you so obviously aces are always new beginnings like i said but the, I f i'm feeling more of a offer so it could be a love offer coming your way it could also represent an offer to make more money to get more uh, a higher raise a higher pay um and uh, for some of you guys this is particularly for those of you guys that are single you may find a person that is actually interested in you uh, someone that you've been working with or in your surroundings when it comes to business and finances as the ace of uh, cups definitely talks about being overflown or the cup being overflown with emotions um, so I feel that this is because it is a general energy this is an energy outside of your own energy meaning it's not you the one that's interested or that currently finds yourself interested in this person but more so this person is very attracted to you okay so <clears throat> so your first two cards is the three of pentacles and the five of pentacles this is obviously a lot to do with work and finances so for a lot of you guys love may be finding you um, in the job where you're at or in where regarding um, their energy is surrounding where you make money so the three of pentacles definitely talks about groups and uh, partnerships to maintain or achieve a goal again pentacles is always about the business and finances so it is very connected to the ace of cups and the five of pentacles here is um, perhaps a person this is your these are your cards so perhaps you come from a long-term commitment or a relationship where you were left out in the cold or you felt like you were left out in the cold perhaps this person was not even um you know if so, for some of you guys if you guys currently have a child with the person from your past uh, perhaps they left you out in the dry without helping you um without putting the effort um to not so much work things out but they were not they were definitely not helping you financially financial wise uh, in regards to your child and you go from this three to this five now there is a progression here so what this is talking about um, as well you were the one that put forth the effort in trying to fix or trying to make the relationship work work out unfortunately it didn't work out and you were pretty much left out in the dry out in the cold pushed um, or even felt at some point that this person used you in and in either emotionally psychologically or money wise as well now you do have the devil card right at the center so the devil card is definitely um, 
toxic relationships and pulling away from that toxic relationship or pulling away cutting the cords from the past and being able to move forward so this is definitely a good thing i don't see the devil card as the upright position i'm actually sensing it more of the release so it would be a representation of the devil card in reverse so when it's in reverse is you're walking away from a relationship or there is a there was a cutting of cords from the past that no longer served you. It was a toxic relationship or it was a relationship where uh, they were dominant over you or dominant over you, um, almost trying to belittle you any way, shape or form that they could. But you released yourself from that because it is, again, like I said, I feel it more so in the reverse position. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. The devil card is a representation of the Capricorn. So this Capricorn, um, for some of you guys, um, if this was a past lover, again, like I said, you're releasing and removing yourself from that situation. Now, for those of you guys that have a Capricorn surrounding you, perhaps they were the ones to be able to balance or cut the cords of the past. Again, like I said, um, uh, giving you a lot of healing energy and a lot of... Um, a confidence in yourself, uh, encouraging you to move forward and let go of the past that will no longer serves you. The temperance also talks about a lot of healing and this is in the uh, unfolding event. So what it means is if there's been difficulties when it comes to finances, when it comes to money or it, things just seem like they've been chaotic lately, there's definitely a balance here. The temperance is definitely talking about timing. So for some of you guys, it had to do with a cutting from the past, uh, removing yourself from the past, but also karmatically as well. So that's definitely a good thing. Now, uh, again, the center issue here is the page of, sorry, yeah, it is the page of pentacles. So again, like I said, it could represent children. So perhaps you're still connected to this person uh, due to the fact that you, you know, you have a child with them, whether you're a female or whether you're a male. Um, it can also be a representation of you wanting at the current time, you wanting or going through um, a phase where you're learning. So perhaps even in your business, um, again, like I said, you do have an offer coming in. Perhaps it's a promotion or money being increased, um, but it's not going to come basically on just your work ethic. It's more so on what they're teaching you. So for some of you guys, uh, maybe you guys are currently doing a training or a um, being taught something very different from what you usually do work-wise and the this page of pentacles is definitely talking about uh, an apprenticeship so it could be that you get offered an assistant position or a management position but it's going to come through a training obviously you're going to have to train you have to uh, learn from the best pretty much but there's definitely income being increased in an offer that has to do with money directly connected to your love life okay so with that said what it could represent as well it could be that you actually meet this person in this training or in the process of learning this person openly tells you that they're interested in you or that they have interest in wanting to get to know you on a deeper level now, the person, how the person sees the situation or the person that you're dealing with is the two of the two of swords. So some of you guys may be dealing with an air sign. An air sign would be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. And they're very stuck and stubborn in their old behavior or the way they are. They feel like they shouldn't have to change or they don't want to change. Unfortunately, with this knight of uh swords there's definitely a type of stockish type of energy maybe they're looking you up on facebook maybe they're looking at you uh, through instagram social media something like that but ultimately what this has to do it, it's more of a ego type of thing uh, because the two of swords definitely talks about stuckness and stubbornness not wanting to move forward but not wanting to move backwards meaning they don't want to move forward or openly tell you that they're still interested in you but as well they're not willing to pretty much move on um, and again, with this devil card in the energy of reverse, I feel like you're the one that is putting the barrier and you're the one that's, you know, finally releasing anything that doesn't serve you and moving forward. So that's definitely a good thing. Now, they do have the uh, the Knight of Pentacles here. And the Knight of Pentacles is a communication, a message coming through. So it may be a communication or a message that has to do with money or that is connected with money. For those of you guys that are dealing with a person from the past that obviously you have children with, it could be that they actually try to help or try to incorporate themselves monetarily wise um, to help you or, you know, for the care and the, and, and the, the care and the giving of your children. 
or the children involved anyways, um, they're starting to see a little bit more clarity and they're starting to be a little bit more grounded. So they go from stubbornness and stockish type of energy to understanding and knowing that they could never get you back in any shape, way or form. So they have no other thing, uh, other choice than to abide by keeping it uh, friendly, so to speak. For those of you guys that are dealing with a partner that you have a, child, a child with or children from, okay? Now, again, like I said, there's definitely communication coming in and it's communication, again, like I said, having to do with uh, a proposal or perhaps um, a message coming through in regards to money. So for some of you guys, again, like I said, I do feel, I sense that for a lot of you, Leo, especially those of you that are single, you may be finding a new person uh, coming into you or letting you know that they're actually interested in you. And I feel that this is like a work type of romance or a connection that has to do with, it's tied to money and it's obviously tied to business. For those of you guys currently that are in a uh, serious monogamous relationship, uh, with the three and the five of pentacles here, uh, you're definitely feeling like you're being left out in the cold, like your partner's not putting the effort and they're not wanting to put the effort. The devil card, again, still very strongly in the reverse position. So what that means is, again, like I said, you're starting to catch on to the toxic behavior that your partner had. Perhaps they are extremely jealous, extremely stubborn, and very, very possessive, okay? Because they do have these two cards here, which is the two of swords and the knight of uh, swords and the knight of swords is definitely a very stockish type of energy very forceful um, not being able to trust you or fully commit themselves to you because they're scared you might end up betraying them etc now the temperance des definitely talks about balance and timing again like i said so for a lot of you guys um, maybe you guys are contemplating whether to give each other some space some room uh, it could even be a representation of you guys actually living in the same house but sleeping in different rooms um, only temporarily because you guys are trying to find common ground now um, in regards to your partner again like I said very stubborn type of energy and very jealous also very possessive type of energy which is not a good thing at all uh, but the pay uh, sorry the knight of pentacles definitely talks about um, them being able to see things on a more practical way so it could be either that they communicate to you you know what yeah um, this can no longer be if you guys again like I said if you guys have been sleeping in separate rooms uh, finally opening up the communication and being able to communicate to one another um, where you guys are coming from and putting all the cards on the table to be able to be on the same page okay now again like I said I feel that this page again for a lot of you guys you guys are going to be going through a period where you're going to be learning or studying a new uh, whether it's a new project whether it's um, uh, a new endeavor in the business and finances um, you're trying to get as much information as you possibly can so again this is definitely a good thing now for those of you guys that are in a serious committed relationship, again, like I said, if you do feel that your partner is very, very jealous or extremely possessive, try the best you can to put um, boundaries more than anything. You need to speak up. Stop, you know, trying to play the I'm going to let them cool off so we can then talk about it. And when they've cooled off, they just come to you and like, hey, uh, you hungry? You want me to serve you something like, like if nothing happened? try to deal with it face on and the reason why I say that is because if you don't you're allowing them to continue on this destructive behavior and it's not serving you any good and it's not serving them any good as well okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading um, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe comment like and share my videos I truly appreciate it and we'll speak to each other in the beginning of the month of October okay bye